What's up guys, Zane here, and welcome back to my channel. Now, it's been a while since I've done a Sunday video, so I figured let's start making Sunday videos again. So, usually on Sundays I would do a, kind of like an update on my life and in-game achievements and stuff like that. But, due to the fact that I don't do that many achievements and stuff like that, um, I'm going to switch up my uh, Sunday up a little bit different. Um, I'm going to use Sundays as a as a way of uh, addressing comments on my YouTube channel and some other interesting news I find out about Final Fantasy and stuff like that. So that's going to be calling it uh, Talks with Zane. I kind of like the, that title for these kind of videos. So that's what my Sunday videos are going to be about. So with all that said. I wanted to address uh, some comments from my uh, last video, um, is which is the uh, how to make the th top five ways to make gill on Final Fantasy XIV. Because I notice I see uh, a couple of comments of the same question, and I wanted to just um, touch upon those so people will always keep asking. So, the first question is my UI. For those who don't know, I play on PS4. I don't play on PC, I'm strictly PS4. And the UI that you see below you is, is the PS4 version. You hold the, the left and right bumper, um, bumper buttons the right side, the right uh, bumper button will give you the right, and the left one will give you the left. In order to use the actions, you can use the D-pad or the uh, triangle, square, circle, X buttons. For those who don't play on, on PS4s, that's how pretty much P P uh, PS4 players play the game. It's not as hard as you might think. So I just wanted to clear that up. I'm, I am on PS4. Those who don't know. Uh, another question I had was, how long have I been playing Final Fantasy XIV? I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV since the game relaunched. Maybe, I think it was maybe late August, early September, when I, when I, when I got the game, when I found the game in, at GameStop. I didn't know at the time what MMOs what were. And I didn't even know about Final Fantasy XIV anyway, so I just knew that it was a Final Fantasy game, and I went and I played it. So I've been playing ever since relaunch. So the next question was why I didn't um, mention the Aquapolis in my top uh, five ways to make a game in Final Fantasy XIV. The reason why I didn't mention the Aquapolis because the Aquapolis is random. It's not 100% and the fact that you don't really get that much gill out of it is the reason why I didn't add it in. Yeah, you get like 10,000 or, or 20,000 for each floor, but that's each floor. If you make it to each floor, it's not 100% continuously way of, of making gill like crafting gathering selling materia selling brand company seal items those are more consistent but the aquapolis it's more randomized so that's why i didn't really add the aquapolis to the top five because the aquapolis isn't really that common now i also was asked about the decent um, part of that video in my opinion, goldsmith, leatherworker, weaver, and armorer, in my opinion, are the best four things to decent. If you're, uh, if you run dungeons, those are the four basic items that you will find: weaver, goldsmith, leatherworker, and armorer. For blacksmith, it's a little bit harder because they don't add in weapons anymore in dungeons. They're mostly coming from the primals. 
so that's why I wouldn't recommend blacksmith. There's, there's rarely any carpenter stuff in dungeons, and most of the carpenter stuff comes from, also comes from the primals. And also goes for alchemist. Those are the very few things that actually you get in dungeons. So, that's why I, I would avoid doing those. For culinary, it's different if you're a fisher, because culinary is, you can descend fish. So if for those who don't really do dungeon runs, culinary is probably, probably the fifth one I would I would choose to go through if you know what fish um, what fish drops are good items or the or the glamour items. So those are my top four picks for decent thing. If anybody has any I have any idea what they want to work on, those are the four because you can dungeon grind to get a lot a lot of. Um, gear. And I say the last comment is one that I found very interesting because this person clearly doesn't really know too much about dragoons. So the comment that I got on my my video was why my dragoon does not have all 32 abilities on my hot bar. And it's very simple because there's a few abilities that um, that Dragoon does not need. Faint, the Talon Throw, and I think it was Keen Flurry. Because this person told me that Dragoon absolutely needs all 32 abilities. And that is not true. You don't need Keen Flurry because that's a parry ability and you don't really need a parry if you're a DPS and doing dungeons and stuff and it's barely useless and out in the open world. Faint is useless because it's slow. No one uses slow on mobs or in anything in game and so faint is pretty much useless. And talent, flow, talent throw is only useful if you're soloing Palace of the Dead and you want to pull um, one, one enemy at a time, so outside of that, those three things are not those are the three abilities that, that Dragoon does not need. So, for any people out there who are starting Dragoon who think you need all 32 original abilities, you don't. So I also wanted to clear that misconception for anybody out there who don't know too much about the Dragoon class job. So, that's pretty much all the comments that on my last video that I wanted to talk about. I also wanted to I wanted to say that it's the view count on that video is slowly uh, creeping up on my most watched video, How to Make Gil and Final Fantasy XIV with Weaver. My Weaver has almost 1,600 views. And my top five ways to McGill is at 1504. With 27 likes and unfortunately six dislikes, which is gonna be my next thing I wanted to talk about is likes and dislikes on YouTube. Now and this is probably gonna sound weird, but I was actually happy to get a dislike on my on one of my videos. Because what that says to me is that That you're just a hater, really much, pretty much. Especially when it's on a video about someone's opinion. If it's, if it's someone's opinion, then it's like, okay, it's like just so. It's like that's my that's their opinion, or if it's actually most likely fact that these are the five, top five ways to make kill in this game. And so it's like if you just like that, then that's well. That's just, you know, that's just it's pointless. So that's the truth. You know, it's like, and it's like generally I find that pe people who dislike videos that are generally purely to help a community or help other people to, to dislike something like that is pretty, makes no sense. And it, it just makes you look, it just makes you look, it just makes it, pointless to dislike something that's helpful. 
So I really, to me, I really don't care about likes and dislikes. I'm purely doing this to help people in this game. You can dislike my videos. You can like my videos. I don't care about di likes and dislikes. I will make what I, I will make what I I want to make. You know, if I found it, if I find it that it's it's useful and it needs to be touched upon, I will do it. I'm not doing this for anything but to help the Final Fantasy XIV community. So you can like and dislike all you want. I'm still gonna make what I want, despite what you guys don't like. <laughs> So if I like and dislike these my videos, I really don't care. As long as people, um, as long as people get the gist of what I am doing, that's all that I, all that matters to me. If it makes you makes you money, if it gets you through content, if it makes the game easier for you, I'm happy. So like and dislike to all you all to your heart's content. <laughs> I'm doing this. Purely out of the kindness of my heart. So, with that said, the next thing I wanted to touch upon was I just found out just like 20 minutes ago on Twitter that Final Fantasy 14 and WWE NXT are are, are actually part, partnered, which I will um, sh show um, a quick pick of that right now. So that is a um, pretty much a pick of Final Fantasy XIV's official Twitter account with WWE Superstar Sheamus standing in front of the banner for Storm's Blood. So for all you uh, WWE fans out there, which I am one of them, if you guys didn't know, that there is a possible, there's a chance, possibility that they are going to advertise Storm's Blood in WrestleMania pay-per-view tonight, which I hope that they do because that would be pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> so, thanks to Mr. Happy who retweeted that, that I discovered, discovered that myself. So that is pretty freaking awesome for w, uh, for uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Because I know there's going to be like thousands and thousands and thousands of people watching that pay-per-view tonight. So, that's pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> it's the best place to do it, too, for, for that matter. So, that's pretty much everything I have to I have to talk about. And for those who don't know, I did get my Firebird and my Demonic Lanyard from Zervon a couple days ago. I think Wednesday is when I got it. So I am pretty stoked about that. Um, I do also want to um, want to um, mention that because there's going to be not that much content left for me to cover, that my videos are going to be a little bit scarce until Storm's Blood. I'm still going to do how to make guild with botanist, how to make guild with uh, fish, and how to make guild with no gathering or cl crafting classes at all. So I'm going to be making those as well. Uh, I still want to do my story on um, my journey through Final Fantasy XIV. If you guys remember, I posted videos about that, like back in January. Uh, I still want to. I still plan on doing those, despite the fact that I haven't done it yet. <laughs> I will. I do plan on talk, telling my story about this game, about my journeys through this game, but I'm just being very lazy about it. So I might end up doing that until Stormblood. Um, as for my uh, beginners guide to minor, I, I haven't really gone back to my all to work on that. So hopefully I'll get back to that very soon. And pretty much that's all I got. So hopefully that I can stretch that out for the next two months. So guys, that is going to be it for this Sunday video. Um, I also also want to I also want to say I want to thank you guys so much. I actually hit eleven thousand views on my YouTube channel, and I have some slowly gaining um, subscribers on this channel. I have 143 subs so far. 
I think my next milestone is going to be 300 subs and 20,000 views. So, definitely looking forward to get that milestone. So, I just want to thank you guys so much for getting me up to 1,100 views. I appreciate that very much. So, guys, thank you for watching my this Sunday video. Don't forget to like, comment, favor, and subscribe to my channel for more Final Fantasy XIV videos. And I will see you guys next time. I don't know if I'm going to continue on Monday. We'll see how I feel and, and how, how work goes if I'm up to it. I might start my botanist kill making videos starting Monday. If not, Wednesday. If not that, then Friday. But look for, uh, look for that next video sometime next uh, this week. Alright guys, so Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, may you all walk in the light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys.